All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is shortcuts very seldom ever pan out. At least for me, they never did. Um, Now, when I say shortcuts, I first want to say that doesn't mean if you're at work or if you're developing something and someone shows you something uh, that will help you out, right? Because I even had my family members were in the tailoring business and they used to say, I can show you something that took me 10 years to learn. And after just showing somebody, they can learn in X amount of minutes or hours how to do something that could, you know, maybe you would never discover or it took them that long, which is a gift in itself. It could be like if you've ever worked with anybody, they're showing you things that, you know, that they learned throughout their life. It could be, you know, a father, a sibling, somebody you're working with. That's not the type of shortcut I'm talking about. I'm kind of talking about where a lot of people live trying to always shortcut anything. It's almost like a mindset to say, okay, it took you X amount of time to get to where you got to, you know, or where you got to. Now, if it took 10 years, I could do it in one year, which maybe you can. Most of the time, it's bullshit. And very seldom do I see those type of people ever get to where they need to be or complete certain things. Not everybody, but most people. And again, I understand it is a time where information comes to us so much easier. I don't care if it's through Google. I don't care if it's through social media. I don't care if you learn, you know, you go on YouTube and you learn how to work on your engine in your car um, where before it was impossible. And again, I'm not talking about that type of shortcut. Um, I'm really talking about the type of person that is always trying to figure out an angle and When I kind of, this kind of was what I'm going to just go through very quickly, what I went through, because I was one of those people who thought, wow, if I do this, I can probably do something in way less time than most people just by my work ethic. For instance, I wrote screenplays for years and those were daunting because you're writing all these different characters and you don't want them to sound the same and it takes you years to write them. At least me, maybe other people, not so much, but it took me a long time and you're always you know, critiquing it. You're always, you know, adding things, pulling things out. Um, It's, you know, and it's kind of the opposite of a book to a certain degree. You want to get the most information out quickly, dialogue, um, and kind of really visually when someone's reading it, take them there. Kind of a book is where you're using a lot of words to describe a lot of things going on. At least in my opinion, that's how I looked at it. But after writing, say, six screenplays, I said, oh my God, writing a book, I'll smoke it. I don't have to worry about, you know, all the different characters, all the different scenes, uh, thinking about budgets, thinking about how to produce it, um, how to budget it, everything. I could just write my story. Like I should be able to knock that shit out like literally in three to six months. I'll knock it out, get an editor and take it from there and be done with a book in a year. That was so far from the truth, at least for me. Now, if you're a professional writer, maybe you can knock out a book in a year. But I think for the average Joe out there or somebody, even if they've only, even if they've written a book or two or maybe have written before, there, to me, there really is no shortcut because by shortcutting myself would only make my project or my book weaker, I thought. I also think shortcuts, a lot of times you just speed through things. And I kind of found myself doing that on my first book. So to make a long story short, I think my first book took, took two and a half, three years by the time I truth really got it. I wrote it. And then I, you know, I'm going back and forth a lot of other people trying to get, make sure I cover as much information as I could. It was actually a book on modeling. It's for young women trying to break in the fashion industry. And I also want to have, you know, their parents read it as well if they could to protect them and their family. And I never saw a book like this, but I had to cover every aspect I thought of the modeling industry or the fashion industry. So I was going back and forth with models, designers, besides what I was writing. And there's always something that can be added and. Then eventually after say a year and a half, because it took a lot longer to write than I thought, then I had a professional editor jump in with me from Italy who was British, which I loved. And then that took another literally a year. And I know it sounds crazy to have an editor, but we went through that thing and she went back and forth, which was amazing as she knew about the fashion industry. So she was questioning me on things and then also saying, Rich, why don't you have this in there? And, you know, this isn't right or that's right or this is outdated, this is current or all these different types of things, which was like almost rewriting it. But when I was done, I knew I was done and I got it exactly the way I wanted. 
But now I'm going to fast forward to my second book, talk about a shortcut. I said, hey, since I wrote one, my second one, I'll fly through it. That one took longer. It was a much bigger book for one. And, you know, again, I wanted to make sure I got everything off my chest. And sometimes with writing, at least in my opinion, some things like will just flow out of you, say, for a couple months it's, or even a couple weeks. It's just coming out. And all of a sudden you hit the wall. And then you kind of maybe find yourself being repetitive. Also, you're just not in a groove for me. So I'd had these, you know, I'm trying to force certain things and it just wasn't working. And again, back to the shortcut, I said, I just have to take my time and let this book like conform into what I want it to conform into, but I have to take my time. And a lot of times I would be traveling a ton, so I would always write my books or screenplays on the airplane. But for the first time, I was kind of, I don't know if it's writer's block, like I'm sitting on the plane and I'm just, I'm spent. Now, it may have been because I was exhausted from traveling, but I also didn't get to where I needed to be, I found at times. I just was not getting it. But if I, you know, maybe it was just, I, or I should say, I started to take breaks and give myself time to think about certain things because it's kind of like an autobiography. But it's also, it's called Wingman. It was trying to help men find a woman or women of their dreams. Um, really is, you know, it's a, it's a must-have guide also to help men with their identity, help them with fashion, hygiene. And I kept adding some things and that's what really started to evolve. And again, no shortcut for me. <clears throat> when I went and even created a program, I literally thought it was going to take me three to six months. It took me two years. Again, now the reason I go into that for myself is if you are looking to create anything or if you are doing anything in your life, instead of looking at the shortcut, just do it for the sake of doing it because you love it. And instead of looking at putting less time, consider putting more time into it. Like make it your baby. Like I'm not kidding. Everybody kind of wants to do everything quickly. Why? Because a lot of times when you create something, you're always look at, looking at the end. And I've been like that. Like I remember even creating my films. I was like, I cannot wait to end this. After sh you know writing it, shooting it, editing it, at the end, screening it, doing the festival thing, then what? I wanted to go back and almost start all over again. Like now I have to take on something new, but I didn't really appreciate all the things that I was, you know, going through throughout my life regarding making films. And, you know, when I was making it, a lot of times I was getting aggravated and just kind of saying, no, no, let's end it here. Let's end it here, which of course it has to end. I'm not saying it doesn't. But when it comes to shortcuts, you know, sometimes in life, there are no shortcuts to get to where you need to be. A lot of people end up in the positions are very successful because they didn't take a lot of shortcuts. They just were consistent and kept doing what they wanted to do and they got it to where they wanted it. And I think a lot of us, and I've been there too regarding certain things, you shortcut it to death, it just ends up shitty. You kind of sell yourself short, you sell out whatever you're doing, kind of short, is that correctly? Or you're just, you're just shortening it. Instead of making things better a lot of times, we make them worse. Or we kind of limit the potential that it truly has. I think that happens a lot with fitness. I will wrap it up with that is a lot of people I discuss this, they sell themselves short as far as their physical capabilities. It doesn't mean you have to become a health nut, you know, or some physical freak. But I do think that a lot of people, again, when it comes to certain things, especially health, it's a shortcut mentality now. They want to lose weight very quickly or they want to gain muscle very quickly. They may go on extreme diets, take a lot of supplements, whatever. Take your time. I know we all want to get things done quicker a lot of times, but sometimes that just isn't the answer. It just really isn't the answer, especially when it comes to your health and wellness. So anyways, I just want to do a quick podcast on this. Pay attention to yourself. And instead of looking at doing everything as a shortcut or shortening it, look at it as like kind of an adventure milk it a little bit. The more I sometimes milk certain things, the more I enjoy them. And the more I realize how much was missing compared to like if I would have ended it at a certain point. And me doing my YouTube channel, like I just did it for fun at the beginning. And I only thought I would do it for a couple months. I've now done it for a couple years along with my podcast. And I can't say my podcast I'm done with, but as far as YouTube goes, yeah, <clears throat> I am... I have gotten what I wanted out of it. I didn't go into it and say, hey, I have to monetize this and make thousands of dollars. I just wanted to voice my opinion and I never wanted to shortcut myself. I wanted to get up every sub or I wanted to cover every subject matter I wanted to cover. 
And I'm basically there. So if I would have shortcut that, I may have only done it for a few months, which would have been fine, but I would have never got all the things off my chest that I wanted to get off of. And I always say, man, when they're going to throw the dirt on your face when you're dead and gone, did you really do what you wanted to do? Did you accomplish what you wanted to accomplish? Or did you just shortcut life? Like, Were you just kind of, instead of fulfilling what you wanted to fulfill and enjoying it along the way, you kind of were just spending more time on how to make it easier or just get get it done quicker or just live in that mindset. So just something to think about. All right, if you get a chance, uh, you can check out my website, richchalenza.com. My books are all on my website, Rich. Uh, richchalenza.com. Did I just say that twice? Well, anyways, my YouTube channel is my name, Rich Chalenza, and my uh, website's richchalenza.com. Sorry for the redundant kind of thing going here, but I don't edit these, so I could care less. Um, also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, take care. And man, I'm telling you, the one thing you don't want to shortcut is your life. Think about it.